Hello there, I'm Michael LeGiblin with FiddlerShop.com and I'm extremely excited to talk to you today about the all new Tomastic Dynamo Strings. These are a brand new set of strings from Tomastic. They've actually been in the works for over four years, but today is the very first day that I'm even able to talk about them and they're gonna ship in the middle of March, 2023. So you can pre-order them today on our site, but I'm gonna play them for you and, and talk to you a little bit more about what makes them such a different set of strings. I've had them on my personal violin here for about a week. I've taken them to rehearsals and broken them in. And I really like them. I know you've heard me rant a lot about strings. There's lots of new sets of strings and to explain kind of why dynamo strings are a different string and why I'm actually really enjoying playing them requires a little bit of a history lesson. Since the creation of the violin, the strings were made by sheep guts, a gut string. Don't worry, the sheep had very happy lives and they had just eins bad day. And so we made strings out of them. Fast forward until 1910. We have the first steel core string. Violins, they love the steel core string. Lots of power, fast response. Hi there, not so warm string. We fast forward to the 1970s and a small company named Tomastic Infel has created the first synthetic core string with the introduction of dominant and it takes the violin world by storm. Most of the violins love the dominant strings with the synthetic core because it sounds like gut strings but still has some modern power. Try! In the year 2000, we have Perasto Eva Prazzi Green, which again takes the violin world by storm. The new modern materials of our synthetic core has the warmth but has more focus, more brilliance, more overtones than the dominant have. And subsequently, all the strings have been trying to increase this formula to increase the power, the focus, the brilliance, the magnificence of the violin. All right, I hope you enjoyed that brief history lesson. If it wasn't intelligible, the takeaway is that since the introduction of synthetic core strings, we've kind of been on this path from all the string makers where we've just been ratcheting up the power and ratcheting up the focus and ratcheting up the brilliance. And from Pirasta we had Ava Prazzi Greens and Perpetuals. And then from Tomastic we had Pies, which were mind blowing. And uh, Rondos, even more focus, even more brilliance. And it just felt like we hit the top. Like we reached the ceiling, there's nowhere else to go. And you've heard me rant and rave that I don't want another high tension string. I don't want more power and more focus. Um, I want the flying car of strings. And so, like the great American a poet of our generation, Coolio says, you gotta get up to get down. Maybe it's actually the reverse. Maybe we actually need to get down to get up. And that's what dynamo strings are. Tomastic has, with dynamo strings, taken us off this ratchet of more power and more focus and more brilliance and instead taken a new approach. These strings have a very wide color palette. It's a very broad sound. There's lots of complexities and flexibility in the sound. And it hasn't come at the expense of response or tension necessarily. We got a little taste of this with dominant pros. That they were a lower tension string, lots of warmth. The tension was a little low for my sake and the response, just a little low for what I prefer. As, but what has really captured my attention with dynamo strings is the core of the sound is huge. It just feels like when I played uh, Parazzi strings or even Pi strings, I love the, the core of the sound. It's very strong, very powerful, very focused. But when I put on dynamo strings, it feels like that core of the sound has just opened up. It's like I knew, I used to know where the floor of my violin sound was. I was like, I know I'm here. And when I put on these dynamo strings after playing them for a couple days, it felt like the floor opened up and I had a whole basement of sound underneath me. It was, it was incredible. 
And it doesn't just mean that it's, it's a deep, bassy, muddy sound. It opened up a lot of resonance in my instrument that I didn't really know was there. I can hear lots of overtones. I hear the resonance. And for me, that is the way to get projection and power, is to have a, a soaring sound, not just raw, muscular tension and power. To understand how Tomastic did this and even how to adjust the sound even more to my preference, I got on a call with Stoyan, the product specialist at Tomastic in Vienna, as well as Sokol, our Connolly rep uh, here in the US, who uh, hooked me up with a set so that I could test these out. So big thank you to them. And I learned so much on that call just about strings and how si simple changes like just making a change to the E string can affect the complete set of strings. So there's lots more information coming up. I've got Michael Explains It All with my comparisons against other string sets so you can hear them back to back. But until then, you can pre-order your set of domestic dynamo strings at fiddlershop.com and we look forward to shipping them to you in the middle of March. So thanks so much for watching this. Be well and practice well. Bye.